Hello everyone, welcome to the Nerds Archive. I am the nerd, but I'm actually the nerd from the future. Yes, I've come from the end of the video to basically just straighten out some mistakes I'm gonna make throughout the video, basically. So because of my sheer excitement of this thing, uh, at certain points I end up using the wrong words for different parts of the saber. So I'm just gonna clear it all up now. At the very top here, you have the grub screws. This is the tab. There is no magnet, it's just a spring. And at the bottom here, we have the D-ring. As I say, because of my sheer excitement, certain parts of the video, not all the time, but every now and again, I'll call something up here the D-ring when it's located at the bottom. So, yep, I'm going to go back to my own point in time now at the very end of this video. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing. Okay, so here it is. Basically, I've, uh, it hasn't been opened. I've just opened up the box here. So, uh, yeah, let's... Oh, man, this thing... I mean, I've seen some videos of this and, oh. <laughs> wow, that is very professional. <laughs> nice. Oh, there it is as well, the logo, Space Savers. Thank you once again for this, I really appreciate it. Uh, ooh, let's see. Let's make sure that... No combination in there. Ah, okay. This is it. <clears throat> yes, it's the right one. <laughs> it's the right one. Oh, wow. I'm going to need to recharge it. Wow, let's just have a quick look at the blade. Nice one. Wow, this is fantastic. It's all sealed as well. Wicked. I wasn't sure if it was just the hilt, because I knew the hilt, the hilt was going to be sealed. Looks like I've got everything there. Comparing it quickly to my Sabre Forge, which is a, a Shoto blade, I think it is. I think this, yeah, definitely this is the this is the king hilt. <laughs> this is amazing. So, uh, low battery, please recharge. Right. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to crack this open, have a bit of a play, get used to the whole thing, uh, and then we'll review what else is in the box here. Oh wow, this is so exciting. <laughs> Space Savers, thank you once again, guys. This is brilliant. Wow, fantastic. Nice one, thank you. Let's get on with the review then. Cool. So I've taken all the wrapping off and this thing is just absolutely amazing. It's, it's the best weight. Um, I was worried that it would leave fingerprints all over the place but honestly it doesn't i can't explain it someone better than me would be able to but it leaves no prints no nothing it's so shiny it's beautiful uh, it's uh, honestly it's beautiful uh you can see that it's got the accurate um little uh circles going around the emitter which is uh in kenobi's um hilt which i believe not a lot of replicas do have it's, uh, it's the perfect weight as well. It's got a working D-ring, so you can clip it onto you. And it's not very heavy, so I don't imagine it would uh, be rather annoying if you were cosplaying Kenobi and had it on you. It's, like I say, it's the right weight. It's very light, but at the same time, heavy. Like, it's, you know, you can tell it's something that's designed to be a weapon slash replica of a weapon. How it, it's there, but it's not. It's not weight. It's 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 perfect. Basically, the weight is perfect. It's not too heavy, not too light. Let's put it that way. So honestly, I can't stop looking at it. It's amazing. It also comes with this little blade plug here, which is something that you use. You plug it in, and you're able to see what the light is, what the effects are. Uh, this is for the D rings at the top. Uh, there is. I did. I've taken this out of the little case. It comes with. 
because there was a D-ring that was securely placed in. But I'll go into that later. Uh, inside the case, you have, uh, well, the, <laughs> the instructions for the case, how to basically create your own passcode to it. You have the, the blade, which is a proper NeoPixel, as you can see there. And if you don't know what a NeoPixel is, you'll find out later on in this video why it's a good thing. <laughs> You also have, um, so this is to basically customize. I believe what you do with this is you plug it into the computer and you can upload your own sound fonts, uh, basically just add more to it, which is, which is amazing. I'll give that a go. Um, you also get a spare switch. Yes, yeah, so there's the rest of the grub screws, a different key, some more buttons basically. So you can replace the button here, depending which style that will just slide right off for you, depending which style of this hilt that you like. Uh, this is the stand. Can't wait to put this together. This is going to be it's going to be brilliant. Um, a little booklet, which explains how to use the saber, and the charger. Obviously, otherwise, <laughs> what's the point if we didn't have the charger? Um, I believe that's everything. So that's everything you'll get in the box. Or the case I should say so I'll go and charge it up have a bit of a play so I understand how it all works and yeah honestly I'm so so excited for this though I have got to try and be quiet because a lot of people here are asleep and this is the best time I've got for, for filming this so I do apologize for that but yeah space savers I'm just going to be thanking you the whole way through this video guys this is amazing I'm I haven't even used it properly yet and I'm already blown away so let's crack on with the video okay so here we are I've uh, charged up the lightsaber and I've been uh, well to be honest playing with it now for the past week or so and I am absolutely amazed by it this thing is absolutely beautiful it's exactly what you'd want a lightsaber to be if I'm honest with you um in every single way, right, right down to the weight of it, to the smooth swing, to the the character changes, every, every single thing about it just really brings home what you want a lightsaber to be. Um, the Neo Pixel is fantastic, as you'll see in a minute. Um, yeah, yeah, just uh, space sabers. You did an absolutely beautiful job with this. So happy and so proud to own it. And uh, once again, thank you very much for your very generous discount um, because I, I am truly honoured to have this in my collection. It's fantastic and hopefully not the last hilt slash lightsaber that I'll be getting off you guys. So uh, if you guys enjoy this video, you want to get one of these for yourself, you're looking at the Etsy store Space Sabers. Um, yep, they do not disappoint. 100% awesome postage time. Uh, in, a, in some of the videos and the advertising you'll see on the Etsy store, it says it, it's nine days. However, I live in the UK and according to my family who bought this for me, it took around 12-ish days. So not exactly nine for UK buyers, but you know, it's, it's uh, amazing how fast it can arrive. I'm really, really happy with it. So, I mean, uh, where to begin? I suppose, uh, well... I've seen a lot of Obi-Wan Kenobi hilts and uh, I've really loved this. I mean, like even the little uh, the holes there, which uh, are just like, uh, say, from Clone Wars, the movies and A New Hope. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of Obi-Wans have these, but it is nice to see that as well. I mean, like everything that this thing is built from. So there are better videos out there that can explain this but right from say i know this part is made from a piece of a car engine this bit from a grenade i know this is from a calculator and i believe that this is a tap <laughs> so it's uh amazing what you can do when you throw them all together again what i will say is that i know there are a lot of people out there that you know really want the accuracy and i'm afraid this thing is Again, it does to me and to people that love lightsabers, it takes nothing away from it, but it's not screen accurate. This uh, is based on the Star Wars A New Hope, as you can see by the D-ring and the calculator switch here, which can be swapped. It's, it's not accurate to that. I know that there are some buttons missing here, as you can see. 
it's all nice and smooth there also with it being from a new hope it should be weathered and worn like it's you know basically been in been by obi one side in the desert for the past 20 years or so but this thing looks uh well brand new well because it is um so yeah i, I know that this part is also different as well so yeah so to people out there that basically want screen accuracy i'm afraid with this you're not going to get it to people who want a lightsaber to be like a lightsaber this is pretty much spot on for you but yeah the d-ring here can swap uh, as you'll sh as you should see now if i've got my timings right be very careful when you do swap it as the magnet uh, not the magnet sorry the spring will just fly out and that's basically there so the button is is here if i just slide it there so that's the the button which as again please do be careful because you can see it will fall out it's just a basic uh micro switch in there uh so do be careful that you don't lose the button and you don't lose the spring when swapping it. But the spring basically makes it so the whole panel becomes the button, you see. Without that, you'd have to press up here and at the same time, it would this would slide out. So because of the spring, you have the button. Uh, the grip here is purely cosmetic. It does not affect anything uh, about the switch, whether it's locked down or, or up, it it will move it's just there for well because obi-wan kenobi's lightsaber had it the four grub screws are just uh well brilliant because i've seen in a lot of uh, people's videos especially people who review the uh the disney lightsaber helps from galaxy's edge when it comes to the thin necks such as obi-wan's and luke's they have to basically swap out the head for a, a thicker ignition because when the blade slots into place, I think it's only inches that it will go into. So when moving it around, the blade will wiggle. There, all you have to do is just slot the blade in and tighten them. So I know that there are people who pretty much like this hilt don't um, have a, resw a reswappable head. They only have one grub screw and they complain a lot about the wiggle. I have been able to experiment as I have four here. So of course I've tightened it with one wiggles a lot uh, tightened it with two both uh, in front of each other or side to side it still wiggles three it becomes much more sturdier and you're not going to worry about it flying out but four is pretty much perfect when you have all four of the grub screws holding onto the neopixel blade you don't have to worry about the blade flying out it's much more secure way more stronger um, just gives you a bit of security as well you can get fancy with your lightsaber do some spins and not worry about it flying out and traveling across the room absolutely spot on with a better look now everything that you get inside uh, the case which is a really good case by the way the lock is amazing it comes basically as nothing with the instruction manual to explain to you how you can pretty much set your own password very very strong and secure case i've traveled with it from one house to another to show friends and i've not had to worry about it at all you also get the little bag of goodies, as I call it, with a spare Allen key. Uh, some spare grub screws, because it's good to have uh, a spare set of those. Some stickers. Uh, I'm not sure what they're for. If anyone knows, please let me know down below. And the reswappable um, tab, which you can swap out for the calculator bubbles here uh, to make it. I don't think it's as accurate to anyone in the show. Uh, if you know what it's accurate to, or if it's just for show, once again, please let me know at the bottom. You have uh, the charger, obviously, otherwise this whole thing would be useless without the charger. The main little uh, screw that you use to uh, uh, place the blade in, or maybe at the same time for something on the inside. Again, I'm not sure. Let me know. The instruction manual and the uh, micro USB 2 port, which is, again, it's uh, <laughs> basically the manual will tell you how you can basically change your own lights and sound. You'll notice that some characters, when you swap to, say, uh, have music with their characters, whereas others won't. Some will have uh, the clash sound where the, the blades have locked together and others won't. You use the little chip to uh, go onto the computer, go onto the account, sort out what character you want to have what, any settings to add your own characters. Um, I know that there is a Thor and a Pikachu, which I'd love to get. So I'll have to figure out how all that works. Uh, and yeah, you get this awesome stand as well. Um, I love how it looks on the stand, especially with it being see-through, because you can clearly see it's a stand, but other times it looks like the force is holding it up. 
And then this beautifully, um, this beautifully detailed uh, blade plug, which just looks amazing. As you can see, it's basically um, modelled after the Graflex blade plug. But uh, we'll get onto that in a moment. <laughs> so, yeah, so the blade plug, absolutely love it. Fantastic detail, a helpful little tool to have with your lightsaber. So, when you get the hilt, you have a one-year warranty where they, you know, anything goes wrong, they'll 100% help you out with it. Space Savers, awesome. Uh, but there are certain things that you can do which will not, you know, the, the warranty will not help you with. For example, the whole chassis on the inside, because of the metal, the aluminium body, while the sabre is on, the metal itself aids to keep the chassis cool. So basically, if you take away the bottom and have the lightsaber on and it damages any components or whatnot, that is something that I believe is not covered. So whatever you do, when you're going to ignite your lightsaber, make sure the whole thing has been put together. Uh, to charge it, it's nice and simple. You just unscrew the bottom here. And you can see like so many creators, it's all 3D printed. So I've been told that apparently uh, taking the whole Obi-Wan Kenobi hilt apart can cause some damage. So to avoid any damage by taking it apart, the charger is right here at the bottom. So it just once again takes away the worry of uh, taking the lightsaber apart, you know, just, you know, no worrying about extra damage. Um, honestly, it's so secure, nice one. So yeah, to access the uh, micro switch to, uh, is it a micro switch? No, it's more like a, a chip. Well, I don't know what I'd say, a chip. You just have to unscrew this part here. Uh, and I have not, I've tried to do this and then change my mind, but I'm going to do it here now. And again, there are tutorial videos on the Space Sabers YouTube, which do show you how to do this safely. So I'm just going to, again, I'm really uh, cautious about doing this as I don't want to break it. You know what? I don't think I'm doing it right. So I'm going to tighten it back up. We'll do that another time. As again, I'm not sure what is covered by the warranty and what isn't. Yeah, nice one. There are videos that um, Space Sabers have made for all their hilts when they take them apart. Um, I think the best thing to do is when you're going to access the little microchip on the inside, uh, I'd follow that tutorial if I was you. Well, that's what I'll be doing when the time comes. Again, see, I'm not brave enough to take it apart. The last thing I want to do is break this on the actual review. But yeah, it's it, oh, I absolutely love this. It's fantastic. So before we put the, the blade in, I'll show you the blade plug here, NeoPixel as well. So just inserting it connects it to the little pins. Once I've inserted it properly. There we go. So basically what this serves as, it does look a bit awkward, obviously, on LB1s, as this is for the Graflex, but it, it doesn't hurt to have... Um, so this allows you to see what the blade is doing without the without the hassle of putting the the blade on. So to activate it, just hold it down. Power on. And you can see just by tapping the button. There you go, proper little mini pixel, neo pixel blade there. Awesome. Again, you don't need to have a, a blade or a blade plug in to see what the lights are. It just helps you see what the effect is underneath. You see it's pulsing there. And I'll show you when you connect this in, when it will, when the pins do touch, that's when it will activate properly. So I'm just sliding it in and then it will make contact. There you go. You don't really need to tighten the grub screws for this one either. So let's hold it down, see another character. <laughs> this is Darth Maul. Nice steady red. Hold it down again because I think the next one, Aramalakos, and let's see if the red is different. Again, not so much. And that is, I'll just move up now. This is the smooth swing, which is just amazing. Absolutely love that. I mean, from someone who has. Um, only had the Sabre Forge where to make it 
basically do a, a traveling through the air send you have to really wave it to go from that to holding up this and just the slightest little movement makes it it's wow exactly what you want a lightsaber to be <laughs> Awesome. We'll get through. We'll get through all the features in a moment. Uh, what else can we say about it? Well, <laughs> it's uh, it's very shiny as well. Of course, your fingerprints will uh, show up on it, um, but it it really it's not like say the sonic screwdrivers where it gets grubby. That I think that's just down to the material. This is the aluminium. Let's just take that out there. So yeah, going from the Sabre Forge to the smooth swing on this Space Sabres, it's just an absolute treat, it really is amazing. It's like holding a real lightsaber and I absolutely love it to pieces. I'm not sure what else I can say about it, it's just absolutely fantastic. So what I'll do is then, we'll just cut now to me showing you the actual NeoPixel blade. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's rock and roll. Right, so because of the full retention screws, it's a beautiful thin neck and there is no wiggle. It's perfect. So now that is an issue with the thin necks that, uh, especially from the Galaxy's Edge, they have to swap out the top to put a bulky one in just so the blade will stay in. But full retention screws, it's perfect. So just hold it down, turns it on. And then because of the Neo picks on the inside, it doesn't, doesn't just turn on. It... How brilliant is that? And that's the smooth swing. I'll tell you what I'll do, hang on. That's right. So uh, basically it's for all the options with the controls, it's just about the second you hold the button for. In the manual it will say flash, but I don't believe that's this hilt. So you kind of just have to count in your head. So for the volume, mute. so that's mute. Volume high. There you go, so that's volume high. So press the button to activate it. There it is. And that's the smooth swing. Brilliant. So that's not the only way of activating it. You can also twist it and it'll turn on, twist it down. Or just hold it sideways and just give it a thrust. Something else it can do as well is it can play music while you're using it. So this at the minute is set onto what the hilt is, the Obi-Wan Kenobi. So uh, just give it a, so twisting it uh, basically left, twist it left, activates the blade. Twisting it right will activate the music. Turn the then of course turn the music off, you twist it back. So of course there's other features to it as well. So just by pressing the button is the blaster repel. So and then it has a flash on clash. Which also does work on the music too. All the features do work with the music. Um, so of course, if you hold the button and clash, well, it's on as if you're locked up. And it has the nice altered sound there as a two blades of clash you. And then uh, it has the melt, which is just pressing. There you go. So that's if it's melted or like on the floor. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm not sure if because my um, blade is a bit shorter, if the tip will light up red. Uh, of course, 
it, there are other uh, blades that will do that, like the Profi board, which is on the list of things to get. But um, as I say, because there are some functions when it activates that you can see it's not quite reaching there, because I think this is a uh, 32 inch. And it would, when you hold it and thrust it, it should maybe somewhere up here just glow red as if it's mounting in. And sorry. It does take a bit of getting used to Actually, no, I don't think that is the thrust. I think if you just hold it and release. Yeah, so it's, sorry about that, it's hold it and release. Uh, and to cut that, either turn the blade off or just press the button. Of course, with this, it doesn't just have the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi sound, it, there are other characters to it as well. So to access the other characters, just hold the button down till it changes. Darth Maul, one of my favourites, I love that. And there are different music depending on what character you're on. Plenty of characters in this as well. Of course, you can put your own in. Uh, so this is Tara Malikos from uh, the, the games. Let's try and get as many as I can. No prisoners. Of course, no. This uh, this is Ben Solo. Who will soon become Carlo Ren. I think this is Dark Cry. Yeah. Broken ignition. I've become more powerful than any Jedi. Count Dooku. Awesome character. Another happy landing. This is the Obi Wan Kenobi from uh, the prequel films. You can tell it is just a tiny bit different. Just the sound and the colour. There's the music from the duel between him and Anakin. but I actually think this is Luke Skywalker's. There's all those classic sound, the clashes from the uh, original films. I'm Cal Kestis. Cal Kestis, I love this sound. That little burst is sick from, from the game, so I'll leave them there. Beautiful cat testers, awesome character. Oh, I love that, that's one of my favourite sounds in this. This mission is everything we cannot fail. I think this is Layers Blade. <laughs> So obviously this is Starkiller, but something I love about Starkiller is that when uh, it clashes, 
you can hear stormtroopers being attacked by him. It's just one of those things I didn't realise until I started playing with it that it just really made me smile. So if you just listen. <laughs> See that stormtrooper that he's attacking there. Again, I'm not too sure on all the characters, so if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. So of course, to go back a character as well, you can just point it down and turn it to the and it will go back. So I think this is Yoda. Yeah, it just does, it has either Qui Gon Jinn's or Yoda's voice on that one. Ray Skywalker. Ray Skywalker's. I'm not a fan of Ray, but I do appreciate the way how, because of her hilt being the way it is, you can see it bursts out green here, where it's escaping from the emitter and then just following through with the blade. I do like that. Final steps. There's obviously a lot of layer from the, from the new films in this. I like to think of that as more as a temple guard saying. And as I said, with the chip, you can scale up your own characters as well. Uh, I know there is a Pikachu font. This is one of the best ones, Luke Skywalker from the uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And it does match this, of course. And if it's one of my favourite things is when it goes back down, you can hear that nice sleekness from the films as well. Beautiful, I love it. Of light. <laughs> that is Rainbow Blade. Cyber Terror. Now, there are a lot of characters in here not from Star Wars. If you recognise any of them, once again, let me know down below. Ages. This is a very cool one now. It's basically a sword, and when it um, deflects the bullets, they're just arrows. Hatred. I think this is Vader. What's the music? Oh, there is no music to this one. As I get, like I say, you can customise and put music with certain characters. Uh, with this one, I just don't think there was one. The Learner. Okay, this is Ezra Bridger from Star Wars Rebels. It's a nice one. Now. The second. The T 
teacher. Whispers of power. I'm not too sure about this. I think this might be Ahsoka's from uh, Rebels and the Mandalorian series. Sure about this character. I'll show you the dark side. Call our rem. Skywalker. Again with the crap play. The Dark Sword. Right, so this is for all you Mandalorian fans. This is uh, another one of my absolute favourites. This is the Dark Sword. <laughs> Just to go back because it's all changed. So hold it down, you'll get another sound for the Dark Sword. <laughs> Do it again because I know you get a man going now. So hold down to change. This is the way. And then that should be it. We'll go back to uh, Obi Wan Kenobi from the uh, original films. So, there are other settings as well. Let me just switch to uh, more. Again, hold it down. So, basically, you can either change the ignition or the, the blade setting. So, obviously, we have standard uh, ignition and steady blade. The Darth Maul there. So, again, I think it's three seconds for the blade and four seconds for ignition. So, let's uh, cycle through those. So, one two three blaster blade this is another cool one as well so it's a blaster and the color will change depending on the color of the blade and also the sound of the character first there. Same because this blade is short, you can see how this has a big chunk, but not so much on this side. 
So it, uh, it does vary depending on the size of the blade you get in. So there is a, a, quite a bit of it missing at the top. Big chunk, little chunk, big chunk. So that just depends on the size you get, on the size of the blade you get. Two, three. Cracked blade. Two, three, four. Scavenger ignition. So that's cracked blade with the uh, ray scavenger ignition there. This is Hunter Ignition with Fireblade. This is basically Kylo Ren's. One, two, three. Standard Blade. Four. Blaster Blade. Ah, <laughs> see that is the issue. Uh, when obviously you miss something, you've got to go through the whole thing to get there again. Ghost Blade. One, two, three, four. Broken Ignition. My, that's one of my favourites is Broke Ignition. It does look better on a steady blade as well. Stack Ignition. Steady. Steady. One, two, three, four. Photon Ignition. Warp Ignition. Phaser Ignition. Scavenger ignition. Hunter ignition. So it's four seconds for the ignition and then three seconds for what kind of blade you want when it's activated. It's steady mode. One, two, three, four. Standard blade. So there you go, it's back to normal for more now. Uh, so, as well, what I'll do, I'll just go back to the Dark Sword. There's a cunning warrior. The Dark Sword. So to change the colour, it has to be on. Uh, if you hold down the button, down and twist, it will then cycle through the colours, I'll just set it onto blue. So I know there is a version where it will cycle through slowly, and then there's the others where I think it's called fast change, uh, but I'm not quite sure how to uh, get that to work. <laughs> so it's basically through trial and error on how I get the different colours. But I know that point it down, hold the button and press. And it will cycle through all the different colours, but as I say with me, um, it's trial and error. Um, but honestly, I absolutely love this thing. It's it's gorgeous. Um, definitely an awesome one. And to turn it off, you basically hold the button down for 10 seconds. So it should jump to the next character. And then turn it off. You were the chosen one! You were my brother, Anakin! I love you. There we go. So now it's off. And to get it to turn on, hold it down. So, yeah. Wicked. So then, final thoughts of the Space Saber Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, it's absolutely amazing. I I know I say it a lot, but I absolutely love it. It's everything that I've always wanted a lightsaber to be in many ways. Um, yeah, just it's one of those props that you look at, one of these little replicas, and you think, wow, it's, it's amazing to own this. It's amazing to see it on display when you want to, you know, just fire it up and have a bit of fun with it, for it to respond and basically work as a lightsaber does. Fantastic. And, and space sabers, like many uh, lightsaber builders out there from not even Star Wars to just other prop makers that create these products for us. It's like actually putting our hands into the films or series and holding them and it's it's amazing that these companies are doing this and Space Cybers is just one of them. So yeah, as you can see with the blade as well, taking the blade in and out, constantly tighten it up. I don't recommend you tighten it very hard, just, you know, just enough. Uh, over time, it will dent the blade. That's pretty much basic. However, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's no problem to just order another Neopixel blade if you need to, but 
in the meantime, like everything, you have to take care of it. These aren't the plastic toys, you know, these are the proper full metal replicas. So, yeah, you have to take care of them. No matter what replica it is, whether it be a lightsaber or something else, you have to, you know, respect it in a way. It even says in the manual that it's uh, a Jedi's weapon and it deserves respect, meaning don't just take it out and bash it against anything you can find. Uh, at the same time, will I use this for dueling? I personally wouldn't. I know that there are people out there who do use the NeoPixels for dueling and they do look sick. But that's basically, I suspect it's choreographed because as amazing as this thing is, you don't really want to damage it, especially, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of money and you don't want to spend all that money uh, just to give it a whack and break it. I personally would use the, the Sabre Forge for that. But for this thing, with all the all the effort and detail and... You know, all the work that's been put into it, I wouldn't want to see it, you know, go to waste by someone whacking it against something too hard and, and damaging whether the hilt or the blade. But, uh, yeah, I have seen people who've received NeoPixel blades and they've taken it out of the box and just started using it straight away, whether it to be to demonstrate how strong it is and whacking it off something um, to having a full on duel. So you can do that with these. I'm just saying from from me personally, it's something I'm not going to be doing with, with this. You know, just because I have another lightsaber doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, use them for a proper full on duel, whacking them against each other. Um, You need to, you know, have fun with these things, but at the same time, take care of it. So, yeah, I, I really recommend it, guys. I absolutely love it. It's exactly what you want a lightsaber to be. I haven't really got any complaints. No, there's nothing about it. As I said, the only thing uh, I know you can't modify it by, say, where, weathering it up. Because I think that once that's been done, it can ruin some parts of it. And if it doesn't go to plan, uh, space sabers won't send you out any replacement parts as pretty much, you know, this is it. So when you get it, it's this don't uh, don't modify it or anything like that because you'll just you'll just ruin it basically and you want to enjoy it for what it is which is a, a, a you know a proper lightsaber tightening the blade in over time will dent it um which is why I, I wouldn't say tighten it very much for a full on duel uh, i'm not sure how it could break from doing that but i really don't want to risk it as you can see here i've swapped out the uh the tab just for you to see what it's like it's really no different you know when you hold it it's uh, it's exactly the same probably like probably a, a tiny bit more comfortable as the bumps on in your way but you don't really notice that when you hold it anyway again that's down to what you like um yeah no i'm really not disappointed with it it is strong it's strong enough for you to use but don't go mad you know much like the sonic screwdrivers they're strong enough for you to flick but that doesn't mean you should go mad because if it breaks, <laughs> you know, it, it's not a toy. And this, is, this isn't a toy. I wouldn't just carry this around carelessly, uh, attach the blade and just whack it really hard with uh, another person for the fun of it. Because if it breaks, that would just destroy me. But Space Sabres, honestly, um, this has been something I've wanted for a very long time. I've, I check out your videos. I also check out other people's reviews of it. And it's, oh, wow, yeah, something I've always wanted to get. Didn't see it coming uh, as this was a birthday gift. I didn't see it coming at all. And uh, it was it was amazing to get. And, of course, I was told before I opened it, you need to do an unboxing, you need to, uh, to do a review. So, honestly, really from the bottom, bottom of my heart, honoured. And I hope this video has done you just disguise because you really deserve it. It's uh, It's a lovely little company. The, the lightsabers are fantastic. I absolutely love them. So, yeah, you guys, are, all of you are legends. Thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. It's been a, an honour to do this for you. If you like what you see here, guys, if you think, well, you know what? I love lightsabers, but I've never actually collected them before, and I think I'm going to give space sabers a go. You want to head over to the Etsy store. They don't just do Obi-Wan Kenobi. There is a Graflex and many other characters there. Um, yeah, uh, just have fun looking, uh, have fun purchasing, and of course, have fun playing. Space Sabers, absolute legends. I love this to pieces. Highly recommend from me. A beautiful, beautiful lightsaber. 
So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the review. This has definitely been a fun one to sort out. Uh, fun to review, fun to play with, and this is going to go pride of place in my collection. Uh, thank you all again. I hope wherever you are, you're all stay, staying safe, staying awesome, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. You take care, everyone. Bye for now.